You know the way everybody has dreams, everybody has visions, everybody has something that they are going after. But in today's episode, we are going to be looking at that one thing that keeps people from achieving their dreams. So stay tuned. Hello guys, how are you all doing? This is Obina again and welcome to another God backed episode i'm so super excited to be here with you guys today if this is your first time on this channel please consider hitting the subscription button below in this channel we try to encourage each other to press after their goals press after their vision and to become all that god has called them to be so in today's episode we are going to be looking at something very peculiar something that i i believe that has excused people or have kept people from being all that god has called them to be i don't know if you have ever been in a situation where you see a, a rich guy or let's say you see somebody with a very great body and you're like oh, leave him maybe because he has good genes or he has good dna or you see a lady a lady driving maybe a nice car you say i forget it she's just being lucky or maybe because she has um she has some guys that are paying her bills for her or maybe you see a guy that is doing so good in what he's doing you're like please leave him maybe it's just because he's gifted because because he's gifted because he's, he came from a nice family or because he's privileged and you just tend to find yourself making excuses for this guy or for those for that person one thing i've realized is that excuses is the one thing that has kept people from being all that god has called them to be never ever confuse a man's results for luck never ever confuse a man's result for luck most of the time most of the times when we see people people that have good bodies people that are doing well in their profession people that sing well people that you know they look like they're talented but you see them and you'll be like you excuse it for maybe that luck or for privilege or from coming from a good home coming from a good family or just lucky in general what this does to you is this whenever you do that in your mind you have excused yourself and it takes away from you the power to actually walk towards becoming that thing that you want to be. The Bible says something, show me a man diligent in his service. He shall not stand amongst men, men, but amongst kings. Everything in this life takes is all about input and output. You sow and you reap. There is always a seed time and a harvest time. Most of the times, the people you think that they are benefiting from one luck or one privilege or the other, they're just enjoying the fruit of their labor. They're just enjoying their result. The time that they invested, those, you were not there the time they were staying up all night, working on their dreams, working on their vision, working, rehearsing, practicing their craft, you know, putting in the time, putting in the effort. That lady or that guy with a great body, you were not there when he was starving himself. He was sacrificing all those McDonald's, all those burgers, all those chicken, just so that he can eat vegetable, go to the gym, sweat, spend two hours in the gym. And when he comes out looking so good, you say he's, he has good genes. He's just lucky. No, 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 no. What happens is that when you do that, you have removed yourself and you have taken away from yourself the opportunity to be like that. And this is one thing that I have seen that has kept people from being all that they want to be. Because as long as you keep believing that is some kind of luck of grace or genes or something that is helping them it makes you believe that because you don't have that then you don't you can't be like that and automatically it takes away the work from you but if you understand that this person is achieving these things or enjoying these things because of their results it will make you also ask questions what input did they put so that you can put in the same in input and get the same output so that you can put in the same work. If you find out that they are reading more books or they are going to the gym three times a week or they are spending all night rehearsing on their craft, you begin to do the same thing. And as, as you do that, you will find out that you find you, you keep on getting closer to your dream and nothing will be able to stop you from being all that God has called you to be. So that's what I just want to share with you guys today. As long as you have this mindset, as long as you have this mentality, as long as you keep seeing things like this as being, as you keep having this kind of mindset, it will keep you. If you want to have a great body, if you want to, you know, do well in your craft, if you want to make more money, if you want to, you know, rise in your career, you need to stop making these kind of excuses. You need to stop excusing results for luck and begin to tell yourself that if he can do it, I can do it. There is nothing that is stopping you. The Bible says that God has given you all things pertaining to life and godliness. And he's able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all you can ever think or imagine. So that thing you want is possible. You can have it. The only limiting factor here is you. If you see a man rise to become president, don't say he's lucky. Ask how did he get there and begin to take the same steps that took him there. 
Life moves with principles. There are principles for everything. Find out the seeds that they sow so that you can sow the same seeds and reap the same harvest. So that's what I want to share with you guys today. If this video was a blessing to you, if you like this video in any way, I would like you to hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscription button below. Videos like this are going to be coming out every Saturday so that we can together become all that God has called us to be. So don't forget that you are backed by God. There is nothing that you can't do. Whatever you set your heart to do is what you can do. To them that believe, all things are possible. So always remember that you are God-backed. Have an awesome week.